Hi there, in this video I'm going to be sharing with you a single exercise you can do to help you create a better looking website with web starts. Before I get into the video, I want to invite you to tap the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you'll be the first to find out when I release a new video on web design, internet marketing, search engine optimization, and similar topics. If you want to follow along and you haven't already done so, go to webstarts.com, click on get started, it's free and sign up to create a free account and then you'll be able to log in and see the view I'm looking at here which is called the dashboard. From the dashboard we're going to begin working in the page editor so you're just going to hover over the thumbnail to your website and then that's going to open up the editor view. All of the elements in web starts are drag and drop so that means that you can click to select them and then literally drag them wherever you would like them to be displayed on the page. You can also select elements and use some of the shortcuts to do things like align your element to the center of the page. All right, let's get into this single exercise that you can do to help you create a great looking website. So here we already have a template that is included with web starts and obviously you're welcome to use that. But looking at this template, I'm going to talk about how I use this single exercise to create a better looking design. And the way that we do this is you take all of the elements that are appearing on your page and then you are going to categorize them into whether they should be large, medium, or small. So you're going to categorize them by size. The most important elements of your page are generally going to be the largest. So in this example, I have a business coaching uh, template and so I want the focus to be on my business coaching. And I've selected an image here that has a young lady that's making a presentation to a group of colleagues. And I feel like that reflects the nature of business coaching. So I selected that image to create this template. And it's the largest thing that's displayed on the page. You might also notice that there's text in a fairly large format running across the center of the page. I call that the headline and that definitely falls into the large category as well. And generally speaking, when people come to your website, they're going to give you about four or five seconds for the page to load. They're going to quickly skim the page and they're going to want to see some evidence that they came to the right place and the content on the page matches what they were expecting to see. So that's why you're going to include a large photo of maybe your product or service and then also a corresponding headline. Next, let's think about some of the things that are of medium importance that should be categorized as the medium size on your page. That might be something like your business name and logo. I put those things up here in the top left in the header just so that they're out of the way. There's only so much real estate on a screen and you really don't want to make the focus your logo and business name. Those things are more to support your brand rather than be the main focus of the page. The other things that are in the medium size are things like your navigation menu. That's where people can click to go to the various pages of your website. You don't always want to include a navigation menu on your landing page, depending on the type of sales funnel you want to lead people through. But a lot of the time, that's something that could fall into the medium size category. If we scroll down the page here, you can see some more medium sized elements. These are photos that should support uh, the main photo of your website, of your product or service. I like to think of these as photos that reflect the features and benefits. So here's where you would list your features and benefits, and those would commonly be categorized as medium sized elements on your page. Finally, if you think about the smallest elements on your page, those are going to be the detailed pieces of text that someone is probably not really going to read unless they're already engaged with your page. So here I have some of the features and benefits listed and then I've got some corresponding smaller text below here. So those definitely fall into the small size category. And then at the bottom of my page, I even have some social media icons and a subscription field for an email newsletter. And those things are just kind of less important. So they're going at the bottom of the page and they're generally going to be smaller design elements. Okay, that about sums it up for this exercise. So if you're following along and you're stuck trying to put together a good looking web page, 
Just think about all of those things that you're trying to communicate. Think about which ones are most important, which ones are least important, and then categorize the most important things as being the largest elements on the page, and then take the medium sized things, make them the medium, and then take the least important things and make them the smallest elements on the page. And that should help you get past that roadblock where you can kind of begin to create a good professional looking design. I hope you found this video to be helpful. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website. And don't forget to click subscribe as well as be notified when the next video comes out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.